have a situation in the Caleb system. The Klingons are massing a battle fleet in that sector, and it's pointed at Federation space. I'm leading a force to respond to this aggression, and I want you to be a part of it. If they cross the line, we need to be ready for anything. This is a pivotal moment in Federation history. The Nakul may attempt to disrupt it somehow, change the course of time. We'll need to look for signs of temporal flux. If they show up, we'll need to deal with them, no matter what. All hands, this is Admiral Garrett, on board the USS Yorktown. I'm the commanding officer of this task force. Our long-range sensor platforms have detected a Klingon battle fleet massing near this system. At the moment, they're attacking our subspace relay network in order to disrupt communications and long-range surveillance in this sector. We have the Klingons outnumbered at this time. Should they abandon reason and follow a standard attack doctrine, fire to disable their ships if possible. A strong show of force should send them back to their side of the line. All ships, go to yellow alert. Garrett out. The Admiral is hailing the Klingons on all frequencies. No response. The Klingons are making an attack run on the subspace relays. The Admiral is signaled weapons free. <laughs> Reminds me of a cloak. This is Garrett. Is execute battle plan Sigma-4. Repeat, execute that. Concentrate fire on the cruisers. We need to protect them.
mighty Federation has been brought to heel at last by the Klingon Empire. Those who remain shall know mercy in return for your unconditional surrender. We Klingons can be gracious in victory, though should you wish to die in battle with honor, I will gladly oblige you. I'm picking up a temporal anomaly on one of the Klingon ships. It's consistent with readings we've seen at previous Nakul incursions. They're trying to interfere with the timeline again. Leave that to me. I'll modify the transporter and beam you over, past their shields. Once on board, free the ship and neutralize the anomaly if you can. Hurry, we're literally running out of time. Daniels beamed us into a barracks. I'm not picking up any security alerts. Looks like we got the drop on the Klingons. I brought several photon charges along. If placed tactically, we can use them to disrupt this ship's power grid and take down the tractor beam. That door to the left leads to an engineering section. Good place to set a charge. for the element of surprise. Damn! The door's locked and we don't have their door codes. I think I can bypass it, but it'll take a little time. lab over here. Probably the only one on a ship of this size. Another good spot for a bomb. Charges will do some damage. Now we just have to find the tractor beam controls. You need to finish them now. All of them. You don't understand how dangerous they are. I don't need to do anything. Do not forget who is captain here and who is merely a visitor. I've given you the means to victory. I suggest you use them. Now. Noted. Though it seems we have other concerns now. I warned you, Kor. Deal with this. Don't fail me. Well, well. I was hoping for Kirk, but I got you. Pity. So you're the Federation globflies who found their way onto my ship. A bold maneuver, to be sure. Bold or not, you remain insects. 
a minor nuisance to be exterminated, swiftly and without mercy. And in that way, we are alike, for we both are here to help ourselves. Today, I will take what I want in the Empire's name and use it to utterly defeat the Federation. And the Nakul? Should the time for war come, we will meet them in glorious battle. But for now, our goals align. <laughs> Chargers are ready to blow. We should get back to the ship and take out the tractor beam. Are you ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
shot. Done us all proud. Give them hell, my friend. At least one Starfleet officer has the courage to die there. Come in, come in. Your ship was destroyed in combat while protecting the retreat of Admiral Garrett's forces. Your sacrifice allowed Garrett to warn Starfleet about Klingon cloaking tech. But your ship was lost with all hands. At least, that's what's in the history books. I've brought you and the crew members I could save to the early 25th century. You're being recruited as a temporal agent. Since you're dead, we're giving we you have a new speed identity. training and reacclimation process that will help you to fit in. I know this is a bit unusual, but you'll get used to it. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. <laughs> Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical holo novels, too. My Harry Mudd costume took first prize last year. That being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you, you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. <laughs> <laughs> 